Hi, this is a very quick tutorial using GraphPad Prism version 5. Um, anything I'm showing in this tutorial could be done in Prism version 6, um, but for simplicity I'm using version 5 for this demonstration. Um, the reason for this demonstration is I wanted to show how to combine a number of graphs on a single figure using the layout tool and the graph functions of Prism so that they share a single unified y-axis and have a number of x-axis. You've probably seen these kind of figures before in papers um, and there are either two ways of doing it. You either share a single y-axis and have a number of figures running horizontally or you can share a single x-axis and have a number of figures running vertically with the data sets plotted on the figure. Um, I'm using some data here I've just made up. It's three sets of line uh, graph data, x-y data in PRISM. Um, and I'm using figures here, we've got graph 1, 2 and 3 which I've labelled figure A, B and C. So let's have a quick look at the graphs and then we'll uh, go through what we need to do to combine these three graphs into a, a single figure. So graph 1 we can see here on the screen it shows a measure up the y-axis going from 0 to 800 and the time is on the y-axis running from 0 to 250 and we've got a series of numbers measured here. Uh, graph 2 looks very similar it goes from 0 to 800 and then 0 to 250 on the x-axis and finally graph 3 it goes from 0 to 1500 slightly higher than the previous data sets and it goes from 0 to 250 seconds again on the x-axis so when you combine them in the layout we've seen already a b and c they look okay um, the y-axis of course don't line up with each other because they're of different scales and you can look at the data and you can compare them but if you've got more than three or four and you're trying to squish more of these graphs into a single figure it's often useful to combine uh, the data sets with a single Y. So first of all, let's just look at the three graphs and make sure that they conform with each other. So if we were to remove a Y axis from either A, B or C, would they actually uh, align up? Of course, immediately we know that graph C here has a scale which goes to 1500 versus the 800. So the first thing we need to do is change the scale of A and B so they go to 1500. So let's just go to graph 1, double click on the Y axis, turn off the automatic scale and change the scale so it goes to 1500. We'll also need to make sure the major tick intervals are the same which on the other graph was 500. If we click here it should automatically write 500 because that's the default for a 1500 scale in PRISM. Press OK and it's reformatted that scale for us. Let's go to graph 2 and do the same so double click on the Y axis automatically turn off the automatic and go to the 1500 click on here it automatically changes the major tick interval press OK and now our graphs if we go to our layout page they all have the same scale now of course these graphs don't look as impressive as they did before but that's just the fact that we're sharing the same scale so now what we need to do is we need to make them conform on the x-axis so that they're going to look better on the uh, final graph. At the moment they look a little bit cluttered around the lower end of the scale because these axes cross over almost where the data cross. So what we're going to do is just for this demonstration I'm going to set these up as an offset x and y axis and at the same time I'm going to change the scale of the x axis so that it runs just to the left of 0 so to minus 20 say and then just to the right of 200 so maybe 220. You'll see that PRISM has automatically extended the x-axis to 250 and um, that's very helpful it makes sure you can see the final uh, figure there but we don't want it going to 250 that will look a little bit silly so we're going to just extend it to 220 so let's go to graph um, 1 to start with we double click anywhere on the axes and it brings up the same box we just saw go to frame and origin and right down the bottom here it's got frame style click on him and I can choose offset X and Y it creates this lovely offset effect so our data sets now start at zero here not on the axis itself uh, and press OK so that's offset we can repeat that for graphs 2 and 3 so just very quickly do that frame and origin offset and just to prove we can do it if you go to graph 3 and we click on the magic make graphs consistent button and choose one of our previous graphs and press next you can see it's automatically 
assigned the offset as well. So if you've got multiple graphs to do this to, you can simply use the magic graph tool up in the menu bar in the change menu bar there. So now we've got our three graphs looking uh, with the offset axis looking good. We need to change the scales and we'll do that again. So go to graph one, double click on the x axis, turn off the automatic scale and I'm just going to choose minus 20 to 220 and major tick interval set to 50. The reason I've chosen 50 and not 20 is I don't want to see the minus 20 or the 220 ticks. I want to have a tick at 0 and a tick at 200. So that now looks the way I want it to. And again, using the magic button on graph 3, we should be able to do the same with graph 3 by clicking on this new graph we've set here. You can see in the top, if I just zoom in, this is the new graph. And you can see now it'll change the existing scale to the new scale and press OK. And it's done that for me. Graph 3, I'll do the same using the magic button. Select either one of those and press OK. So now our three graphs conform to the same scales and the same axis sizes and lengths, which is great. So now we need to hide the y-axis of graph B and C in this figure and allow the, lot, uh, the graphs to, to bunch up. So let's go to graph number 2. Double click on the uh, y-axis here. Go back to the frame and origin in the format axis dialog box and down here underneath where it says offset we've got this hide axes we can hide the y and show the x automatically it brings up this little menu that says show scale bar turn that off we don't want to see a little scale bar you can see appearing here so we turn that off and press ok and now our y axis has disappeared we can delete this measure au as well just giving us our graph go back to graph 3 and do the same so we'll delete the measurement, double click on our Y axis, go to frame and origin and hide the Y and don't show the scale bar. So now we've got our three graphs. Graph 1 has our Y axis and an X axis with some data. Graph 2 has no Y axis and Graph 3 has no Y axis. All the same, same scales because we made sure that was right before we started doing that. Go to our layout and now we've got our three graphs. We've now got B and C and A which we can delete because that's not relevant anymore to this figure. We can click on all three graphs, right click, let's move them to the top of the page, right click on any one of them and align the Y axes. So now the Y axes are all lined up. Just to make sure the scales are correct I'm also going to right click on the graphs and equalize the graph sizes and I'm going to use all graphs and increase the size of the graphs that are too small just in case it's rescaled them and then once more I will just align the x-axis. Now by clicking on either of my graph 2 or graph 3 I can just use the left cursor key and move the graph across until it's either touching or in this case I'm going to leave a little tiny gap between the two graphs to indicate a new set of data and again with the third graph I can do the same move it across so there's a very small gap indicating a new set of data so now we have combined three different sets of data onto a single cohesive y-axis with independent x-axis showing the data in a format that will look quite nice in a publication I hope that helps